In East Africa, the terrorist group Al-Shabaab has been pushed out of its last stronghold in Somalia, the coastal city of Barawi. African forces and Somali soldiers liberated the city in their latest uh, military victory there. Abdulaziz Bilo reports from Mogadishu on the impact the loss of Barawi will have on Al-Shabaab operations. After six years under the oppression of the terrorist group Al-Shabaab, the people of Barawe are smiling. They are seeing their president, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, in person for the first time in 23 years. President Mahmoud assured them of his commitment. It is the end of Al-Shabaab. The people of Barawi can now live in peace. For those who fled the town because of insecurity, please come back. I am sending an appeal to the diaspora and the inhabitants of Barawi to return and invest in the liberated city. Located 220 kilometers southwest of the capital Mogadishu, Barawe long served as Al-Shabaab's main headquarters and human slaughterhouse. Somali State Minister for Foreign Affairs Hamza Burni says he's happy to be back in Barawe. It is the first time I come to Barawe for the first time in 25 years. I am also pleased to welcome the President of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, whose government has liberated the coastal city. Under an offensive named Operation Indian Ocean, Somali and African Union troops dislodged the extremist group from a string of towns. The operation has seen the federal government exert its authority in areas once under Al-Shabaab control. The commander of AMISOM's Uganda contingent, Brigadier General Dick Olum, says a semblance of government has been restored in Barawe. This specific field, the ground here, is the exact ground where Al-Shabaab used to contact, conduct its execution. And it is this same ground that we have decided to come and bring this population and tell them, tell the people of Barawi, that Al-Shabaab is gone, is no more, and we are taking charge, the government of Somalia is taking charge, the Somali National Army has taken charge. The Somali army also says it is winning public support. <laughs> We are here, Amasam and SNA, and have spoken to the communities, mothers, children, and they are very happy. They have confidence in us and are very happy with Operation Indian Ocean. They also took part in the operation and they welcomed us warmly. We are very confident that we can work with this community. Al-Shabaab used the port as a transit point for importing arms and exporting charcoal a trade the UN Security Council banned in 2012. The Security Council recently authorized the inspection of boats suspected of carrying charcoal or weapons for Al-Shabaab. With control of Barawe, the government hopes to deprive the Al-Shabaab of three things. A major route for import of weapons, the movement of local and foreign fighters, and its financial lifeline. Abdul Aziz Bilon for VON News, Mogadishu.